Hi guys, this is Sam from Fluid Social talking to you from Sloan Square, right next to Sloan Square on the Mystery Street. And today I'm going to take you through the five hotspots for cold approach in London. So these are the places that I'm going to be updating constantly on the live maps and WhatsApp group that you can join. I'll tell you a little bit more about it later. But for now, the first place that I want to go to is Hyde Park. Now, right now in the summer, Hyde Park is an amazing place to go. It's a huge open green space. You've got all different types of people sitting down, people by themselves, sitting in groups, with families, with and without masks. But for you guys, that's gonna be a great option because it gives you the chance to test out different ways of approaching. Some people are gonna be out with dogs. Some people are gonna be out by themselves on a walk or sat on a bench. You've got many, many options and you're not gonna run into the same person twice. Because the space is so large, it gives you the chance to go and talk to loads of different groups of people without ever running into the same person again. So Hyde Park is an absolutely excellent space. It's also in the centre of a number of other great spaces. You've got St James's Park and Green Park virtually connected to Hyde Park. You've got Hyde Park Corner Station and then just from Hyde Park you've got Bond Street, Oxford Circus and the trail that's on the live updated live map for members. You've got that trail that goes all the way down towards Covent Garden. So Hyde Park's the best number one spot in London right now if you're going out generally on a sunny day and it's just a, a normal sunny afternoon on a weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, that will be the best spot. After Hyde Park, we've got a bit of a, a bit of a wild card, but King's Cross. Now, people who've lived in London a long time but generally don't tend to go to central London might not think of King's Cross as a very good place to go and approach an attractive stranger in the daytime, but actually in the summer as it's being developed in King's Cross over the past 10 years has developed from a sort of industrial estate that was pretty dangerous around 10 or 15 years ago now it's got a lot of beautiful open spaces new builds you've got the old coal drops um, market space that was designed by the architect Zaha Hadid you've got Granary Square which uh, opens up onto the canal everyone's sitting out there having a beer having a drink in the sunshine walk along the canal and you get down to Regent's Park so King's Cross even the station at the moment where it's during COVID-19 so it's not the best time to be in the station but normally you've got the Eurostar there so you've got international travellers coming in and going out so there are great opportunities to meet people that are sort of fresh to London and give them a good experience on their first day here something to remember the city by so Hyde Park King's Cross the next one we've got is London Bridge, right? So you've got that stretch from Tower Bridge to London Bridge Station, all along the River Thames, along the front of the River Thames. You've got sort of steps, uh, plinths, where everyone's sunbathing, sitting down there, again, having a drink, having a walk along the front. It's a popular tourist attraction, but right now there are a lot of locals there, right? People who are working in the city and coming out after work or to chill out by the river. It's a great date location. And it's a great place to do some cold approaches if you have the opportunity. The fourth one we're gonna go for is another wild card. So the wild card that we're gonna go for is, for those of you that aren't so familiar with South West Central London, we're gonna go to East London to London Fields. Now London Fields is right just south of sort of Hackney Central and you've got uh, a great open space sort of like the Hyde Park setup where you're going to have a variety of different people but much more metropolitan than Hyde Park. It's got the sort of vibe of Shoreditch, Hackney, a bit more hipster vibe. The last time I went there I, uh, I, I saw a girl sat next to me and she was a very beautiful girl and she turned up in a, a shiny plastic lycra one suit with a backpack on her back and in the backpack was a tree she had brought from her house her pot plant and she had placed it in the back of her bag and she brought it with her to the park so you get all kind of crazy characters there a much more metropolitan mix everyone with their shirts off a few teenagers doing balloons but uh, generally speaking it's a really really great place uh, it's a really, really great place to go. So we've got London Fields, and then the final one we're gonna go for is this place right here, Sloan Square in London. 
So the great thing about Sloan Square, and the reason why I think Sloan Square is a great option, is because instead of the sort of high volume, um, high footfall that you're gonna have somewhere like Hyde Park or Bond Street, in Sloan Square you have far fewer people. It's a much slower ambient area to come but the volume of very, very attractive people is very high. There is obviously a lot of money here, there's a lot of wealth, and so it tends to draw a very attractive crowd of people. Along the high street, you've got a great Joe and the Juice, the best Joe and the Juice cafe in London. It's got an outdoor seating area, a great hotspot for sort of the rich and famous celebrities and things like that. You've got the Saatchi Gallery, which is an epic date spot, and you've got the great Sloan Square itself, which is always full of attractive people. You've got Harrods, just a short walk down the road. So if you find yourself more in the south or southwest of London, I highly, highly recommend Sloan Square. Now, with all of these places, these are the places that I'm gonna be listing on the live map. I'm sharing with you a live map which is gonna go on the WhatsApp group as well. So you can talk to the other guys there. You can get to know them. You can find a location on the map, on the live map, and you can go out for a day of cold approach with a friend of yours in any of the hotspots that I'm listing. There are a few other secret ones that I don't really wanna tell everyone about right now because I don't wanna suddenly see them full up of people uh, people you know chasing 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 the women uh, away in the more sort of suburban quiet parts of London but once you're in that group I'm going to be giving you the secret places in London as well the less well-known hotspots uh, that still haven't yet been found by the general cold approach community yet so sign up to the group in the description below and I'll add you to the live map and the whatsapp group and that's where the magic's going to happen that's where you're going to find the real game-changing places along with exclusive content exclusive discounts um, and and many other bonus features so i look forward to seeing you there uh, another update uh, from the 10th 11th and 12th of july i'm going to be doing a social recharge course in london there are two spaces available of a total of four two of them have gone we're getting another coach along a guy that i've worked with a lot who i, I trust a great deal it's going to be a lot of it's going to be a lot of fun uh, it's going to be a great time and so if you guys are interested in getting back into the flow of things with some one-on-one -on -one coaching join the social recharge group on friday saturday and sunday 10th 11th and 12th i hope this video has been helpful any other questions email me privately at admin at fluid.social and i'll see you around london one of these days sam out